Hey everybody, it's John. Welcome back. We're making quarantine cocktails in Los Angeles, where it is currently 86 degrees. That's almost 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, we are all enjoying some lovely weather here and trying to think about what it might mean for the future of the planet. Uh, I was going to shoot this outside, actually, but the sun reflects a little bit. I think that's sweaty mess, and you don't want to see that. So uh, subscribe. Please subscribe. I always forget to ask you guys to subscribe. I have a note underneath the camera here that says subscribe. So it would mean the world to me if you hit the little button down here. Or as they say, the link is in my bio on Instagram. Uh, today's drink is brought to you by two women. I am merely a bald, bearded conduit of cocktail comedy for this. Uh, the drink was created by Rebecca Pepler. She is a contributor to Los Angeles Times as well as other publications. Uh, she is currently, I believe, in Paris. So Rebecca, I hope that you are healthy and well. Also, my good friend Shay. Thank you so much for the cognac, for the encouragement. Shay makes cocktails as well. Uh, you can find them here on the Instagrams. Uh, her drinks always look so much better than mine also, which drives me crazy. Look, look at that. Look at that. It's disgusting. So thank you, Shay. Today's drink is called Bubbles à l'Orange, which is funny because that was my name when I was a dancer. What, I, I, could, I could dance? So, Bubbles à l'Orange starts with an Amaro. What is an Amaro? John, I'm glad you asked. Uh, that is an Italian digestif, meaning it will be a delightful drink after dinner, although I'm going to have mine on Sunday afternoon, so here we go. That is an ounce and a half of Amaro in our mixing glass. Then we're going to use a little Cointreau, about half an ounce of that. And then a quarter ounce of our cognac, which it means no introduction. introduction. And then let's add a little orange zest to get that oil in there, a little twist. And we're going to stir this one. Sorry, no, no shake face today. I know you're <laughs> very, very disappointed. Give that a little stir. Stir it up. Now I'm gonna add just a splash of bitters. And it's supposed to be in a coupe glass, although I am coupless, so we're just gonna use a martini glass for this. And let's strain this out. And then we're gonna add a little bubbly wine. I prefer Prosecco. You can use what you have on the fridge. Top that off. And then, finally, let's do another little orange twist in there. After all, it is l'orange. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Oof, that is lovely. Well done, Rebecca. Thank you. Mm. Ooh, that's good. I'm going to enjoy this. So, thank you, guys. I hope the weather is almost as nice where you are. But if it's not, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Please continue to wear a mask. We're going to get through this. Good things are coming. And we'll talk to you soon.